Um, okay. In 2010, I was elected your Texas State musician. I don't know if you know this, but the Texas State Legislature chooses a state musician, and uh, you know they have the poet laureate and the state 2D artist and the state 3D artist. And in 2010, I was honored and humbled to be your state musician in between Willie Nelson, 2009, and Lyle, Lyle Lovett, 2011. <laughs> Gotta get a lady in there. I was a Sarah Sandwich. It was delightful. <laughs> anyway, uh, when I went up to the Capitol to accept my um, lovely document that they give you, um, you go up on the dais and then they hit the gavel on the podium and all the legislators come up and shake your hand tell you congratulations. And um, before they did that, though, I was telling them thank you um, from the podium. And I, I said, I'd really like to do something for the children of Central Texas with this um, award. And as they came up, they all were saying, well, you know, it's, it's just an award. There's no money. You know, we don't have any money in the state. And I was like, uh-huh. Well, okay, I'm going to do something anyway. And so I did. And let me tell you what I did. I made a record. Um, I think I have a few here tonight. And it's called The Best of Times. And I asked 39 different musicians to sing on it and to use my songs because then I didn't have to pay a licensing fee. So from everything. <laughs> Um, so I have on this album Ruthie Foster, Sean Colvin, Edie Brickell, New Bohemians, um, Rhett Miller from Old 97s, Robert Earl Keane, Marsha Ball, um, I go on and on. But of course, I wanted to have Willie, right? And so everybody kept saying, well, just go to the bus. If you go to the bus, you can get on the bus and talk to Willie. And I said, if I go and get on the bus, I'm not going to remember why I'm there. I think you know why. <laughs> so um, anyway, and, and I knew Willie. I'd met him. We know each other, but I didn't know how to con contact him. So we were at this party, my husband and I, and Willie came to the party, and he walked in, and let me tell you this. He had his hair unbraided, and it went down past his knees. It was so pretty, and it was like flowing through the room, and everybody was partying like Moses had arrived, and his hair was like this, and the smoke was coming out of his hair like this. It was lovely. <laughs> And I went up and I said, hey, Willie, uh, I'm doing this project. And, you know, congratulations on being a state musician. Well, congratulations to you, Sarah, blah, blah, blah. And I, I said, well, would you be interested in singing this song? And he said, oh, of course I would. And I said, well, how do I contact you? So he leaned into my ear, this special ear right here, and he told me his personal email in this ear. And I've never watched it since. Anyway, <laughs> so I was so excited that he said, yes, I jumped and turned around and grabbed my husband and kissed him fully on the mouth, except when I pulled away, it wasn't my husband. It was Senator Kirk Watson. <laughs> and he said, hey, Sarah, have you met my wife? And I <laughs> said, no, but hello. I'm, I apologize. I'm just really excited. I just got Willie. That didn't go over well either. So anyway. <laughs> this is the song that we recorded together. Um, he played guitars and he sang and it's a song I wrote um, here in Houston when I was 17 years old and um, so I want to send a shout out to my friend Alice French because in our first semester in college when I met her she said oh my gosh someday Willie should sing this song and I'm so happy that she said that and that I got to make her dream come true so um, and Willie's a super nice guy just like you think he'd be um, so I don't sound like Willie obviously nor do I have long enough hair but um, I will do my best to sing my own song to you and just pretend it's Willie. Okay. Oh, and if you'd like, I, I ask this at shows, and uh, of course you don't have to, but I close my eyes and I sing this song, and I like to open my eyes and see people slow dancing to this song because it's a really good make-out song, and it's really good to hold hands, but slow dancing is really beautiful when I open my eyes and I see people happily together. So if you're at home and you're with someone you love, please get up and dance. Or if you're by yourself, just wrap your arms around yourself or grab your cat, whatever. And uh, here we go.
Just need 